Oh, I'm just going to show you how to make one really simple uh, walking forward kind of shot using the Offworld Live video plane placement and composure uh, and this custom starter level. So I want to make a shot of an alien walking towards the camera and notoriously uh, Unreal Engine has an anti-aliasing problem with footage that comes into, into Unreal Engine. It tends to just look a bit pooey. So Unreal Engine uses Composure which is a compositing system which overlays the uh, media or talent or media footage over the top of the CG after it's rendered all the CG and that fixes the anti-aliasing problem. It means the CG can be anti-aliased and smoothed over while the actual footage is going to be uh, left alone basically. So I'm going to start by making an empty comp shot in my level. This is going to store my uh, layer elements. One of those is going to be uh, one CG element. I'm going to use the off world Live CG element because it just picks up exactly what you want to see right off the bat. You can see the comparison between a uh, regular CG layer. This is the one that comes with composure. What is going on there? Doesn't look right at all. This one, beautiful. So now we want some media. So I'm just going to add in this media plate. Um, I'm going to call this yeah, media plate three is fine, so I've got another comp in this level already. So load my media into my level, I need a media source. Let's open up content browser and make, I'm gonna make a folder for alien. I'm gonna load this in and go media, media player. And I'm gonna output a video texture asset as well. I'm gonna call this alien media, alien media video, and double click this. So we need to, open, we need to add in a file so we can go media, uh, file source, alien source. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to find a file path of something that I want to use. It's got this awesome walking alien video. I mean, it's not that awesome, but it's a bit of green screen footage that I could find. Yours will be much more awesome than this. Uh, it's playing audio, so I'm going to mute that. You can go audio disabled. Now it's nice and muted. Cool, cool. So we got our alien. So let's keep that open, but just minimize it so that it's still playing. Uh, we actually need to set it to play in here. Let's double click that. Loop. Playback options, audio disabled, save that. Alien media is now loaded up with alien source, and that's all good. So this is what we're gonna put in the composure element, media play, boom, in there. It's a little bit stretched, but that's all right, because we're gonna stretch it back later on. Let's quickly just chroma key out this green, so transform pass is chroma keying. You can add this, add this element, boom. Click back in the media plate and we've got that. Now we need to add some more despill and stuff here. So in material parameters, we can devignette outer, get rid of those corners, and we can add a despill. And I'm just gonna make it super green. You can see that got rid of the edges quite nicely. And I just want a little bit of pre-blur because that's really nice for the edges around here. A little bit of a road, maybe. Nah, leaving it. All good. Cool, so now we've got two elements. We've got the layer element, and we've got this media. Now we need to layer them up together, so I need to make a transform pass in the overall comp. This needs a target camera actor of this cine camera. That's cool. Transform pass. Let's go and make a new one. Alien transform pass. And I'm going to load it in here with that little button. Double click it, and this needs to be a post process material uh, under domain. So it's the post process. And that just means that it's a uh, composure material in a way. So we want two texture parameter 2Ds. This is going to be media plate, and copy and paste this one, and then press F2 to rename the parameter to uh, CG. So now we've got media plate with CG. Now if we drag out the RGBA and we search over, uh, we've got a composure overnode. This blue overnode takes RGBA values and puts one over the other. So our media plate with the alpha is now going to go over the CG, just like that. It's going to go in the emissive color. I'm going to save that and minimize that one. And down here in our input elements, we just made these two parameters. Media plate is media plate. CG is layer element. So we've now got an alien over some CG, but if we press this little square, that's going to stay there and we can move the camera around so we can see that he's not moving in 3D space. So we need the out video plane placement to make that move in 3D space. And we need to switch this up a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do is go to my initial media plate that I've got here. I'm gonna go right to the bottom, down to outputs. And I'm gonna make this output a render target. I'm gonna make a new one called alien, alien, uh, RT underscore alien. And save that there. 
And then next up, I'm going to create a new uh, layer element, another media plate, media plate four. So media plate four is now the thing that we want in the comp. So I'm going to go back up to my main comp and set that in the transform pass. CG uh, media plate wants to be media plate four now. So that's going to be nothing so far because it's got no inputs. So right at the top under inputs, we can go texture input and we can choose our alien. Our alien. So it's all there with the nice alpha channel and everything. That's cool. If we double click this render target, we do just need to set this resolution to be 1920 by 1080. And we can minimize that. Control Shift and S to just save as per usual. So now we've got this new new clean plate with some alpha. And we just want to use the OWL video plane placement to place this in 3D space. I'm going to go place actors. I'm going to go OWL video plane placement. Drag this in. And this is just an actor that tells us where the alien is going to be. So back in Composure, Media Plate 4. This transform pass is where we tell this media plate to line up with this. So transform pass, we have a OWL plane transform. And the plane is going to be the selected plane that we have here. So now we can see the alien's head is just bobbing in the bottom, and that's because he's placed nicely in 3D space. If we look at our whole comp, pop it out, and I'll keep this kind of up here. Uh, we can now go perspective and pilot cine camera three. We can now move our cine camera, which is awesome. So now we are totally flexible to just do some keyframing, the standard kind of Unreal Engine way. I'm gonna make a little sequence animation and go cinematics, level sequence, alien, uh, LS for level sequence, alien. I'm going to double click this. And first thing I'm going to track is the Cinecam. Second thing I'm going to track is the OWL video play and placement. And save often. And that will do for now. So let's jump out of the Cinecam and we'll keep this up here so we've just a reference. We need to skew this plane a little bit. I'm going to bring it in two notches and that's looking good. So now we just want to do some walking movement. I'm going to start back here. Over here, go track, transform, and keyframe that transform. And then we're over the course of, so it's about 15 second animation. It's gonna take about eight seconds to get here, uh, but we can always adjust this. So now we've got some, now we've got some movement. That's cool. He's moving way too fast and it's not linear. So we can uh, right click on both of these and go linear because he's not gonna, he's gonna move at one consistent speed because he's walking at consistent speed. That's all good. It's a little bit fast though. That would do. And now I'm going to track the cine camera to just uh, go along with the alien as well. So I go perspective, cine camera three, go back here, and I'm going to track that transform. And then back here, I'm going to drag back to the alien again and track that transform again. Again, making this. Oh, I missed that first one. Clicked the wrong thing. So I'll go from back to forward instead and go transform save that sequence save often Control shift s as well in case i've to say it changed any other aspects of the project uh and this this camera movement could be could be kept non-linear because that's quite cool how it goes further and closer it's up to you and your artistic intent now let's just hide this video plane from view we can go to the mesh component with it selected and go visible no but he's not going to go invisible just the plane plane meshes so a little bit of color grading is needed. Let's do it in the second media plate because this is all the chroma key and stuff. We know that's solid, that's locked in. Let's do it in this second media plate. We can go compositing element material pass and use a custom custom color grade material, color grade range with a pre-pass and meddle around with these simple parameters. Do some very, very slight adjustments. And if we hide and show that, we can see that that's a million times better. But, you know, I'm not going to go too deep into the color grading of all of it and all that. But yeah, just like that, we've got a moving bit of comp footage uh, in a whole shot, which is amazing. So we can really quickly export this if we want uh, by going track, add to the sequencer. And we want to track the comp because that's going to export the output. And we can also track the media source. By going media track, then go media, media source, alien, and then right clicking that and going assigning this to a render target, which is alien media texture. And then we just know that he's going to walk when the sequence plays. This can be really useful for 
if you've got particular things, he's just on a simple loop, but if you want like a particular look or gaze or something, uh, that's really useful. It means it's all synced up in the in the sequence, you know. So last thing to do to get this output out here is go to this comp up here and go output all the way to the bottom, output, and go output pass, player, viewport, compositing output. Uh, now we know this alien is going to be put over the top of any CG in the level. So now with uh, Movie Render Queue enabled, that's a plugin, so we can go Edit Plugins, uh, Movie Render Queue, and Additional Passes if you want. Enabling that plugin and restarting your system means that you can use the awesome render passes from Movie Render Queue. So if we hit Render and open up Movie Render Queue, we can use this config. Now uh, we can set the resolution, the destination, and we can do Additional Passes as well. So I'm just going to accept this render for now, uh, and I'm going to set a new directory by clicking these little three dots i'm just going to click accept and render local just like that if you click on this little directory you should have a list of rendered uh things and we can copy this we can copy this file path because we're going to need it when we open up something like premiere and i don't know new project whatever go create and um, this is just an example and uh, right click in here and go import and remember that file path we can paste that there and click the first one and it will do an image sequence so we can open that up and drag in here and boom we've got a composited rendered piece of footage get on